Hey guys and girls, how's it going? And welcome back to some more Agrarian Skies with myself, Lewis. Hope you're brilliant, having a great day, as always. Now, in the last episode, we started making our trees, and we got ourselves a load of yellow and bright and blue and green and all and brown and green, green. That's a new color. All those types of clay and stained glass and things. It was it was beautiful. And since then, I have been making myself cobblestone because I think I'm going to need a fairly decent amount of it. Also, from doing my uh, sifting, my sieving, I found some grass seeds. Yes and uh, some sugarcane seeds and whatnot. We have some blaze powder and some redstone, so we have a fairly decent amount of stuff. And I also, from the last episode, I did a derp, so I, uh, I am by no means a vanilla player by any means, so fishing is not a good one for me. But I did figure out how to get the fishing rod to work because I have some fish, and I'm not dead, so that kind of speaks for itself. Now, the way I found it to work is kind of awkward, but you have to kind of angle it a, a bit of a weird one. And uh, eventually you'll get you'll get fishing. There we go. I think that's I think that's in. Maybe, possibly. Who knows? But you have to kind of give it a bit of a, a nudge. There we go. That's the one. And uh, if we leave it, hopefully we're gonna snag ourselves a juicy one. Oh oh oh! <laughs> but this is basically how I've been surviving because we can't eat the worms unless they've been cooked. And apples are far and none apart. So it's uh, oh no, oh, I missed it. I missed it. Damn. So yes, that's what I have currently been up to, and I'm going to quickly grab myself some more saplings, I think, and we're going to need another crook, because I'm going to need to get a little bit more dirt before I can carry on making this stone. So let's turn some of this into sticks, and you know, we'll just grab a load of them, because I always need tons of crooks, like you just, you just fly through them, so uh, we'll make loads, so we've got a load spare. There we go. And let's go and knock these guys down. Now, as far as the missions go, from the ones that we've done and the ones that we haven't done, uh, I believe we're looking to do the fishy one today, which we can do right now. So we'll do that in a second, because I've got... Ooh, an apple, nice. I have the uh, raw fish to do it, which is good. So we'll do that one, and we'll see what we get from that. I think I get a cooked fish, and I get a choice of a, like, a lucky bag type thing. Yeah, I think that's going to be... Uh, Hopefully, we'll get something good. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get ourselves like, I don't know, like what would be really awesome? A bag of diamonds. No, a bag of diamonds wouldn't even be that great, because what could we do with a bag of diamonds? I could make a diamond block and then sit it out on my door, just looking at it. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to break it if I put it down. What is this? So, yeah, maybe something a little bit more useful would be kind of handy. Maybe some armor or something, for when all the bad guys come out, if I can't make it to my bed in time. Who knows? But something like that would be kind of nice. But luckily, we now have enough saplings to make my next piece of dirt. Oh yeah, let's go and throw these in our barrel, because it's about to get night time as well, so. There we go, let's do that. Oh, and we got a little rogue sapling down here, so we'll grab this guy. So we've got four left, so we've got enough to do what we need to do, I believe. But uh, we should probably have a sleepies, as we don't want all the guys to come out. Because they're fairly hard, as we have that... I can't remember the name of it. There's a mod that adds many a bad guys. I think it's... Uh... Uh... No, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's in, like, every every mod pack around at the minute, but it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. But they're very hard. They have, like, a million different attributes. That is a good word. Attributes. They've got, like, a million of those guys, and they're really tough and stuff. Yeah. So, let's put down our saplings. And we'll let these ones grow. That one's currently infesting. Oh, I think it's almost infested. Yes. So we'll get the string from that soon, because I'm going to need that to make myself a, another fishing rod when we run out. But I think I might get one from this quest. Yeah, I think I might get a reed one, which sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? Have we got enough? We have. Yeah. So we got enough to get what we need, I think. I hope. Hopefully. So let's do this. Get our cobblestone. Make our slabbage. And now we should be able to make a furnace. So this is what I've been working towards so that I can cook my stuff and survive. Because I think I could have saved this for making lava, but we need these guys anyway. And actually, you know, we need a furnace to start with because we need to cook the cobblestone, don't we? So yeah, we're going to have to make a slab furnace. You know, it's a little bit cheaper, isn't it? So let's throw this guy there. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself some charcoal. Yeah. 
Cool. And let's hand in our quest as well, because we've got a quest, haven't we? So we need to hand in one raw fish. Let's manual submit. And we'll claim our reward. Which one should we go with? I'm feeling... Mm, that one. What did I get? What did I get? What did I... Oh, here we go. I'm excited. Oh, I got a mysterious magnet. <laughs> wow. What is a mysterious magnet, do you ask? I have no idea. Let's have a look. Uh, level 8, inactive, all diction m magic bees, mysterious, magnetism, away, 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 nope, it's gone, I got no idea, I'm going to put it in a box, <laughs> maybe we'll find a use for that soon, it's got magic bees on it, and it's level 8, so it's, uh, you know, it's close to level 9, so it's probably pretty good, who knows, but I think we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll wait and find out what that guy does, so let's throw that in there, and i got cooked fish as well, so I'm going to nom on that. Yummy. And we're going to cook some of our worms, because we've got a load of spare worms, haven't we? So let's cook those guys up. We'll throw our uh, guys in here. And these things, because I don't really need any of this on me at the minute. There we go. And now we've got a reed rod as well. Oh. So I can use bait. I guess this maybe gives me a better chance of getting better fish, possibly. We have got aquaculture in, I think. Different types of fishies. Yeah, look at all of these. From Mariculture. We've got piranhas and tuna and cod. I like a cod. I like a good cod. And a glowfish. Ooh, and a pufferfish. Do you know these guys? Apparently very poisonous, except for one part. Oh, I learned that the Simpsons. <laughs> raw blaze fish and raw goldfish. Huh, if I found a goldfish, I couldn't eat it. I'd have to go and put it in a bowl of some description. It would need to be done. But I'm pretty sure I can eat this now. Yummy. <laughs> I tend to get a lot more worms than I do apples, so I guess that's kind of a good thing. So, let's have a look at our next task. So, we've gone and done that one. We've now got a selection of new things to be doing, which is kind of cool. Have you noticed the books change around as well? Yeah, see? There was an update, and if you uh, start the world now, you'll actually find there's more uh, options on starting areas for you as well. You know, it's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, I don't want that. Don't spread. Don't spread. Don't spread. Not today. I think we've stopped the spread. Yes. The infestation is no longer. So, let's have a gander. Now, melting stone I already know how to do, but I need to wait for rain for that to happen. We've got our fungus among us. Seems kind of cool. Survival is not tasty. Let's have a look at fungus among us. Uh, I get a creepy doll. Ooh. Mushrooms are a great source of food. Still in sift sand until you receive ancient spores. Plant these spores in a dirt block near a barrel filled with water to start turning the water into witch water. While the water in the barrel turns into witch water, mushrooms will spawn on the mycelium. Placing sand in a barrel of witch water will make soul sand. Sifting soul sand can give you nether plants and resources. Placing a creepy doll in a barrel of witch water will spawn an enderman. Ah, okay. Well, we can't do that one yet, can we? Let's have a look at survival is not tasty. It seems kind of cool. I think this goes down the route of making bait. Yeah, we need to make a sifter. So, sometimes you run low on food. To prevent starvation, bugs can be eaten. While not very filling enough, bugs can keep you from dying of hunger. Make a sifter from mariculture. Place it in an open area. Toss rotten flesh, leaves, and saplings into the sifter. Eat the results. You can use the maggots, ants, and other bait produced by the sifter with a reed fishing rod or any other mariculture fishing rod to catch fish for breeding. There we go. So craft a sifter, the bait from the sifter will feed you and keep you alive. Well, I think that's kind of a main thing at the minute, isn't it? Because if it was any other type of sky thing, food wouldn't really be much of a problem. But as far as it is on this, it is actually quite a problem because we need a lot of food before we can uh, do other stuff. So let's sort the food situation out first before we do anything else. So we're going to want to make ourselves a sifter. <clears throat> Here we go. And for this, we're going to need some sticks. We need a fishing net. So we're going to need, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Five of those. So we've got, is that three or eight? Uh, we've got three. Okay. Let's go grab some more of these. And we should get a fairly decent amount of string from all of this. Yeah. Wow. And I think this is the first time I've been full in a long time. It's kind of nice. <laughs> Even though we've been eating dried up worms and apples and fish, 
You know, I think that's a kind of pretty good diet. Getting the protein in the mix. Yeah, I like it. Now, as far as I'm aware, from the sifter, I don't think the food the sifter gives you actually fills you. I think it, it fills your... Um, you've got like another hidden bar, haven't you? I can never remember the name of it. Saturation, that's the one. I think it fills your saturation so that you don't get as hungry as fast. Or something like that. Yeah. And you may know as well that I've placed loads of uh, half slabs around here. That's so that I don't have to jump around a lot. Because I think that jumping around a lot makes you hungry really quickly. So that's that's not a good thing. So if you, you want to try and stay away from jumping. So place down some slabs. It'll be fine. You don't have to worry about keeping it all kind of half so that the guys don't spawn. Because, uh, you know, you're going to be sleeping by this point anyway. So let's craft ourselves one of these. I've got 20 bits of string. I've got some sticks. And I'm probably going to need some more wood. So let's grab a couple of bits of wood. From our chest and we'll do these guys there we go and i'll make a few more sticks so it was like uh it was like this wasn't it so it's string all around and this makes the centerpiece for our sifter ah we've got four fishing nets very nice i wonder if i can just throw these in water and make a fish like is that how it works Does it just pop a fish out because i only need one of these to think don't i huh Well, I've got no idea what that does, but we'll leave it there because it looks kind of cool, doesn't it? <laughs> we might come back and there might be a little fish just chilling in there. So planks and sticks will do this for us. We have just enough, so we're looking pretty good. So let's grab ourselves a sifter and we'll pop this guy next to our other sieve. So uh, go on the ground. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, he's a little bit big, isn't he? Is that like two spaces? I think so. So can we place it like... There. Oh. Why are you not? <laughs> you look really old. You look really bad. Uh, let's go here. Come on. Get in the, get in the thing. Ah, there we go. All right. Okay. We've done it. We've gone done it. So, apparently, we can we can sift things. So, I can sift, like, uh, like saplings. Ooh. I got seven grasshoppers. Nice. So, can I eat these? Ooh. Oh man, we eat those really quick, and I got nausea. Brilliant. <laughs> wow, that is definitely different. So how do we use these with our fishing rods? Do I just throw it and thus the bait is used? I can't seem to throw it. Uh, do I have to... Ant bait? What is this? This is a grasshopper. Yeah, grasshopper bait, we got it. So do I combine them to make a, a bait-filled tool of awesomeness? Uh, do I have to throw the bait? I guess that's not going to work. Okay. Um, kind of lost right here. Uh, maybe it's going to explain it in our mariculture book. It probably will, so maybe that's going to be the way to go. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch anything any other way. Let's go have a look in our book, see what it says. Plus, we've got the quest to hand in as well, so let's quickly hand in this quest, because we might get something cool from it, mightn't we? So let's have a little gander in here. So we'll get ourselves some maggot bait a quarter of a heart and we'll get ourselves one of these let's go with this reward bag this time there we go and i think i can eat maggots yeah <laughs> they probably don't taste that great but we can eat them nonetheless and we've got a reward bag so let's reward it up i got some monster jerky nice cool so that's going to be a form of food for the next day or two isn't it so we can definitely munch down on some of that and i think monster jerky is quite nice uh did that Ah, there we go. All right. It takes a minute or two for it to uh, <laughs> for it to work because it probably can't taste that great. Well, I don't know. I've had beef jerky before. Beef jerky is kind of nice, I think. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> it sounds kind of horrible. So let's read this. So here we go. So I don't know about that. Is it got anything to do with fish? Is this mariculture? Is this mariculture? This is mariculture. Okay. Is this the one about fishing? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I remember there being a mariculture book that explains fishing. Uh, let's have a look, see if we can find the books. Uh, fishing and breeding. There we go. So we need a book and a reed fishing rod. Oh, okay. So we're not going to be able to do that just yet. Well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? I don't understand how this works. Do I just, like, throw it? Do I have to shift throw it? No. Do I have to have a... 
No, I don't get it. It's gone. It's completely gone. <coughs> completely gone. Oh, well. We'll find out a way for doing it. So let's look at our next quest that we have. From here, it kind of moves on to uh, bones. Yeah, bones. And then we've got dust in the wind. Uh, what's bones? While sifting dirt, you may have gotten some grass seeds. If not keeping sifting dirt until you do, create a platform at least 6x6 six six out of dirt, 24 to 30 blocks away from your base, and plant the grass seed on one of the blocks. Wait for passive mobs to spawn. In a different area, create a mob spawner at least 35 blocks away from your base, and dark for spawning and killing hostile mobs for their body parts. Rotten meat can be composted into dirt in the barrels. Bone meal is also very useful. Once you have a cow, you can place a bucket of milk in a barrel of water to create slime. If you have not gotten a rubber seed from sifting dirt, you can craft a rubber sapling by combining a slime ball with any other sapling. Okay, cool. I kind of like that. <clears throat> So those look like they're going to be the main tasks we have to do at the minute, doesn't it? Because we, the melting stone, we're going to need some stone for that, aren't we? And we're going to need some water. And then we also have these guys, so dust in the wind is another one. So dust in the wind. Putting gravel sand and dust for a sieve by right-clicking will... Oh, is that gravel sand and dust for a sieve by right-clicking will give you broken ore, crushed ore and pulverized ore. It will also get you redstone, glowstone, bone meal and other dust. Try sieving other blocks when you have them to see what other resources you can get. Cool beans. You may be surprised at what you can be sieved. Ah! So placing four broken ores of the same type in a crafting grid will get you gravel ore. Beating, them, beating this ore with a hammer will get you crushed ore. Nice! Cool beans! Well, we've done this before, so I know what to do here, so let's throw this stuff down here. I'm gonna grab my cooked worms, because they're, you know, kind of nice, and we'll leave a couple around here somewhere, so let's do that. And we'll join our hearts together, because we need them uh, doing their thing, and luckily I haven't died yet, which is nice, so there is that. Right! And I don't, I still don't understand these an item filter? I still don't understand these fishing nets, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Maybe you need to do it with, like, running water cone through or something? Who knows? Once we make that book, we'll be able to, like, get rushing right forward there, won't we? But until then, we're just gonna have to kind of farm saplings. It's gonna be a thing. And if we can get enough saplings, we're gonna be well on our way. I think I can also use worms in the, uh, in getting the dirt. Because, uh, I think we're gonna need a fairly decent amount of that, aren't we? Now, the question is, do I use the dirt that we get for using the actual stone, or do I break the stone to get the ore? Hmm. If we kept the stone, then we would be able to make the basin, or the crucible, whatever it's called, uh, to be able to make lava, but without water, I won't be able to make the clay bucket, so I guess, until we get it to rain, there isn't really much point in me using the stone to make a crucible, so we might as well just sift it out to see if we can get any funky ores. I think that's going to be the way forward. Oh, and that, uh, <laughs> and that guy just grew. Lovely jubbly. So I'm going to go and do some beating up of trees, guys, because this is going to be a little bit grindy from here onwards, and I'll be back once I've got enough stuff together to uh, move on to the next part. Alright guys, how's it going? I'm back, and it's been a couple of days since we last did any recording. Well, Minecraft days, that is. And between now and then, I've done a few things. So let me run you through what I've been up to. Firstly, I've been chopping down many a trees, and I managed to kill my axe. Well, I don't actually know if it's... Uh, I can't remember if I killed it or not, whether I left a little bit on it. Uh, yeah, a, a tiny bit. So I decided with a load of the uh, flint that we had to make myself a hatchet from the Tinker's Construct because we had to make these guys so I thought you know I might as well make it hadn't I? And a cool thing with these guys which I completely forgot from uh, Magic Farm is that they work on an XP basis so we probably should have done this earlier. Um, yeah, so if you haven't started this yet, I, I say a good thing is to make yourself a hatchet as soon as you start so that you can cut down the trees. But the main thing is your XP goes up and as it goes up, I believe you get additional uh, little extras for it. Like normally you'd put on the moss to give it the mossy stuff. Well, you can't do that in this because of iguana tweaks. I believe it adds them as it levels up randomly. 
So that's kind of cool, isn't it? So we'll be using that from now on, seeing if we can try and get some levels on it. You know, we might as well while it's there. Uh, still haven't figured out how to use my reed fishing rod yet, but I'm sure I will once I get round to it. Um, but a good bit is... I have been blessed by the rain gods. The mighty rain gods have come and blessed me with their fruitful, watery goodness. So we can finally go and do some stuff. Now, through the grinding, I have managed to get myself six bits of cobblestone so far. And, you know, that's not too bad. That's a fairly decent amount. And I've been holding on to it because... I've been looking through the book, and I was trying to find out ways to, uh, the best way to do everything. And I think I've kind of come to a good way of doing it. So if we look in Hell's Kitchen, there's a real good one in Hell's Kitchen, which needs water. So once you've got water, you can make clay. And once you make clay, you can make yourself a bakeware. And bakeware, once you make a juicer, a mixing bowl, and bakeware, will give you four iron. How cool is that? That's insane. That's a really good one. That means, like, instant iron, bam. So I'm kind of liking that. And this guy's made out of stone, I think. This one's made out of wood. And this one's made out of clay. So we needed water before we could do anything. Uh, there's a couple of ones here. Bees and trees, I don't think we can get into yet. Uh, for the hoarding, didn't look too bad, because that means that we need storage. So we could make these, and then all we have to do is uh, we get a reward bag. So that's another one we could go down. So there's a couple of ones to start with on some of the other ones, that some of these missions that we could go with that, you know, just kind of work, don't they? Like, uh, well, go of the flow, we can't, because we need fluid storage, so we need some of these things first. But, hey, there's a couple of guys there that we could get into and get ourselves a little bit of early gear. Like, those four iron look very inviting indeed. <laughs> so let's get some clay on the go. So we need to make ourselves some of the dust, I believe. So it's dust and inside a water majobby, and that will give us some clay. I hope. I think. Who knows? <laughs> We're about to find out. So here we go. So clay put inside this guy. There we go. And poof, we have some clay. Awesome job. Can we beat it up? We can. Well, hey, so we got ourselves some clay. Yeah. Now, the next thing we're going to want to be able to do is we're going to want to make ourselves an infinite water source. That's going to be the first thing. So let's turn these clay into a clay bucket. And we're going to fire it up. There we go, so we get a good one. Now remember with these clay buckets, you can use them as many times as you like on water, but once you use them on lava, the time that you place the lava, your bucket will explode into millions of bits, and it'll get eaten by the giant worm in the void, like, like, out, of, uh, like out of Return of the Jedi, so... Yeah, you don't want that happening. So let's take some of our wood, and we're going to get ourselves an infinite water source, and let's set this up near the base so we can access it when we need to. So we'll grab, yeah, we'll all just grab a load of it. We could use some of our funky blocks, our blue stained clay. Oh yeah, let's do this. So we'll place this along, hmm, where's going to be a good place to put our infinite water source? Kind of along here would have been nice, I think. But then there's these little edges and they don't work well. Um, let's place it along the back because I'm going to bring it around here anyway. So if we put it like here, I guess that would be a good place. Yeah, so let's do this. So we'll do that. And we'll have it... Ah, uh, I'm free. I'm free, don't I? So it's that and that and that. And we can have a little infinite water source here. Yeah, I think that's how it works. So let's grab our liquid and do this. So there's one bucket. And we'll place it there. And another bucket. And we'll place it on the other side. Bam. Yeah, as long as we take it from the middle, we're all good. Oh yeah, infinite water source for the win. So the next thing we're going to need to do is get some larvae, which means we're going to need a crucible. Ooh, I forgot that I had that. Uh, let's uh, quickly do this. Yeah, I need a crucible, and I think I've got enough stuff to do a crucible as well. Did I just get some seeds? Oh, uh, grass seeds. A rubber tree seed. Yes. And we got some more stone. Amazing. That is pretty cool. So, let's get ourselves some water. And we'll place a little bit back into one of these guys. There we go. And we'll get ourselves some more clay. Because we're going to need some clay to make ourselves our crucible. So we're going to need to do that first. And I'm not too sure how much clay we need. I think it's basically the same uh, recipe as a uh, like one of the regular crucible type things. Except we're making out of clay. Yeah, so let's do this. Bam, bam, bam. 
How many have we got? Five bits of clay. We're gonna need a little bit more than that. So let's do another one. And this should hopefully work. And then we're gonna need a load more cobblestone. So it's not as easy as just making the thing and then all of it happens. We're kinda close, but we're not there just yet. No, because we're gonna need to make a lot more cobblestone to turn it into larvae before we can uh, make the cobblestone generator. Yeah, so a little bit of way to go yet. But between this and making the larvae, I guess I could get the uh, the bakeware stuff done. Yeah, we could probably do that. That's probably going to be a thing. There we go. So that should be enough clay. Let's go and have a look, see if we can make this guy. So it's uh, clay like that. Is it like that? Or is it crucible? Or do we need a certain type of clay? Let's have a look. Crucible. So a crucible needs... And we want a unrefined one. So we need, oh, porcelain clay. So clay and bone meal. Ho, ho, ho. Well, luckily, I've made sure that I have uh, I have some bone meal left. Yes, I was never going to use up the last stack of bone meal. Woo, that would have been a problem, wouldn't it? So let's make a load of porcelain clay. Is it eight? We'll do it. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, one more. Gives us our unrefined crucible. And if we cook this guy up, we should get a refined crucible, or just a regular crucible. And then we can put stone or cobblestone into it with a torch below it. And eventually it will turn into larvae. Yeah, which is going to be cool. So let's find a good place to do this. I think a good place could actually be here. But I don't know if I can place a torch on top of it. Let's have a little look. So I'm going to need to make myself some more of that stuff aren't I so let's go and do that let's make that stuff first and has that allowed me to finish off the quest let's have a look uh, mowing stone yeah it has so we can claim a reward cool what have we got we got cake <laughs> we got cake oh yeah where can we put my kind of yeah yummy <laughs> what a good reward what a good way to finish off an episode as well by eating cake yummy and we're almost full on another heart, so we're starting to stack up our heartage. Kind of liking this. Kind of liking this. So let's grab these guys. And the torch. There we are. And see if we can do this. So can I shift click a torch onto that guy? Uh, I don't really know if that's going to work. Uh, uh, hmm. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's uh, do it over let's do it over hmm. i'm probably going to build a lot of this out between this and the next episode anyway so wherever i put it it really doesn't matter that much i don't think so i could place it like here probably yeah we could place it like there and then do this put that there and our crucible there cool there we go because by this time the next episode the chances are i'm probably going to move it but for demonstration purposes that is the setup of the crucible. Yes. Remember, you can also use lava underneath it, and you can use other types of fire source. So you can use, like, never rack and whatnot, as long as it's lit. Uh, you can go and do that kind of stuff. So, yeah, that seems like it. But there we go, guys. That's going to be that for this episode. I think next thing we're going to move on to is we'll get the dust in the wind done, because that's fairly easy. We'll also get some of the other ones done. So I'm going to get the porcelain one done from Hell's Kitchen, because that will give us that. And then with the iron we get, we could probably do the next one for that. And there is go of the flow as well. No, it's not go for, is it for the hoarding. Yeah, we can do the storage wars to make that. So that could be a thing. And I don't really know what I need to uh, make the whaler upgrade. I can't remember if it's changed from the last time where you used to have iron bars. So we might have to have a look at that. Because uh, if we do need the iron bars, then uh, that one's kind of out of the reach in a minute. But let's have a look. Oh, no, it's Jabber, isn't it? Uh, it was this guy. We need our oh, fences. Nice and easy. Cool. So we can do that one as well. And that will get us a, uh, that will get us one of those little lucky bag things. So we might be able to get something cool from that. Yeah. Another good thing that I found as well while I was doing my stuff. I got potato seeds. Check that out. Pretty nice, right? And I have got two copper and two iron now as well. So we're almost there. Almost there. Getting there slowly. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you soon for another episode. Have yourself a great day. Have a good and as always... And goodbye.